Let's continue our series with the key of D major and the 251 in that key. So the key of D major has an extra sharp than the key of G major does. You'll recall from the key of G that we have the F sharp note. In the key of D we also have the F sharp note, but we also now have the C sharp. So we have two black notes that we need to keep on top of. Okay, so to run through our 2-5, D is note 1 and E is note 2. So our 2 chord will be built from the note E. Fortunately, we jump past the F sharp. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that note yet. And there is our E minor 7 chord in the key of D. So we've got E, G, B, and D. That's an E minor 7 chord. So to go to our 5 chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be built on the note A. We play A, go past B, play C sharp, pass D, play E, and G. That's our A7 chord. And for our 1 chord, it's going to be built on D. So we play D. We have an F in the chord, so it's an F sharp, an A, and a C in the chord as well, but now C sharp. And that's our D major 7. So this one's a little bit harder. We have some more black notes to play. So our 251 looks like this. E minor 7, A7, D major 7. And once again, that same little trick of moving the top two notes down, E minor 7, B goes down to an A, D goes down to a C sharp, A7, E goes down to a D, G goes down to an F sharp, D major 7. And with some bass notes. And that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next lesson, we're going to keep going around the sharp keys and we'll go to the key of A. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.